Hello everyone. Thank you for being here today. My name is Olakumbi. I'm back with another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to draft a basic sleeve pattern. But before we get into the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I post a new video because I post new videos every week. For my old subscribers, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you all. The materials we'll be needing are our pattern paper, tape measure, scissors, markers, curve ruler, straight ruler. Please note that when you are taking the measurement of the sleeve, that is from the shoulder down to the wrist, the elbow should be slightly bent. To get started, your pattern paper should be on fold. Then you make a straight line at the top of your pattern paper about an inch from the top. And this is going to be our starting point. The total length of our sleeve is 23 inches. So from the top there, you take it down and mark 23 inches. The elbow is also 13 inches, so we'll mark 13 inches. The other side as well, you mark 13, you also mark 23. Using your ruler, you square it up. Okay. Let's label them so we don't forget the elbow and we also have the wrist now we have to get our cap height to get our cap height the formula for finding a cap height is our bust circumference divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 inches so the bust circumference we use for the basic bodies is uh, 36 inches please if you have not watched the basic bodies tutorial I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out. So the um, circumference we used was 36 inches. 36 divided by 12 will give us 3 inches. 3 inches plus half an inch will be 3.5. So you measure 3.5 from your starting line here. 3.5. Then you draw your line. Connect the points. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to get the armhole length. In the basic body tutorial, the armhole length that we used for our basic bodies was 7.5 inches for both front and back. So we're going to be using a total of it will give you 15 inches. So half of 15 inches is 7.5. So we're going to be putting our 7.5 on the capside line. So mark 7.5 here, okay? You take your ruler from the top point here, you connect to this point that you have made here. So after you have done that, you find the midpoint of the line. This is 8.25. Just take your tape measure, divide it into two, and mark the point here. So from this point, we go up by half an inch. So we make mark half an inch. Make your mark here. We're going to be making the back armhole first. So using your curve ruler, just watch what I'm doing. It's so easy. You place it on this point from the crown here, the starting point here. To this half an inch I'll draw my curve okay then I'll flip my curve ruler I'll go to this point I'm going to connect it from this point here so this has formed our back armhole I'll use the red pen now to make the front arm hold. All you do is take your curve ruler again at this point to touch this point. You make your curve. You see that? 
then you flip it over again touching this point and this point then you make your curl from that point all right so you see so this is the front armhole and this is the back armhole so when we are done with that measure our elbow and put half of the circumference now to get the circumference of the elbow you put your tape round about your elbow this way and making sure you bend your elbow you see you bend your elbow so that it gives the sleeve free movement so with this i have 11 inches so i'll be using 11 inches half of 11 inches will be 5.5 inches i'll mark 5.5 inches here then we we'll go to the wrist when we are taking our wrist measurement we will not take it from this point if not when we slip our hand through it will stop here it won't come out so what you do is you go to the hand and take a measurement from the widest part of the hand what i have here is nine inches nine inches divided by two will give me 4.5 so on the wrist line i'll mark 4.5 so we use our ruler to connect the lines together starting from the caps hat line here we'll join it okay to the elbow and from the elbow to the wrist okay guys so we are done constructing our sleeve we're going to cut it but before then i want to show you um how you're going to add your seam allowance for me i like to use one inch so you just put your mark one inch one inch one inch here as well and you connect it the same way we connected this one so after you do that at the wrist we're going to put hem allowance here so we'll use one inch so i'll mark one inch i'll mark one inch if we draw it down like this okay i'll show you what will happen when we are cutting it out all right so with that this is the back and this is the front now that we have drawn the allowance at the edge of the wrist is to cut off the excess here so I'll cut off the excess okay after you cut off the excess you fold it backwards so we're going to cut our sleeve pattern starting from the back so you can add your um, your allowance but usually I don't like to add my allowance because I want to remember also to put allowance at the top so I'll start cutting it the reason why I said we should fold it in and cut it is so that when we are sewing our sleeve we are not short of fabric because if we had cut it straight you can see this part by the time you are joining it it will be a little bit short let's just demonstrate it so that you can see okay so you see it's touching the edge of the line exactly you will not be short but if it had come here it's going to be short by the time you are sewing it in so you can see it's matching up with the sides Okay, so that's that so what we're going to do now we're going to cut the front armhole so we open it up and we remove the back so now this is going to be our front the front pattern and this is going to be the back remember the first thing we did is to cut the back pattern so this is the back It's so simple there are various methods you know but just use the one that works well for you 
just use what works best for you that is it so when you want to draft your pattern now don't forget to add your allowance at the side don't forget to add allowance at the top as well just about half an inch half an inch all the way half an inch just follow it with your curve ruler and cut cut it out one more thing guys so if you want to make a shorter sleeve all you have to do is for example if the length of your sleeve is nine inches so you put your tape measure from the top here measure nine inches put your mark then you take your um, bicep circumference whatever you get you put it here and you mark it when you mark it you take your ruler and join it from this point here to the place where you have marked then you make your straight line and don't forget also make sure you add all the necessary allowance like i said and always remember to fold it before you cut so guys if you have found this tutorial helpful or you have enjoyed watching please give me a thumbs up share to family and friends leave your comments in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for please subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i put up a new video thanks for watching see you in my next video bye